Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another example video on our beautiful channel. Today we're just going to be talking about some more class action and what's going to happen is we're going to make a dice class. Of course we're getting back to dice because that's awesome and we're going to just use that dice and throw it and we're, we'll make multiple dice and those dice will themselves return a value to us. Um, that value that they return will be printed out eventually. So to do that, to make a dice, we need to include C time, of course, because we want random, right? So we'll initiate our S rand. Um, okay, just like that. There's another way to do this. Your teacher might say we haven't talked about casting yet, but it's pretty, pretty simple. I think this is how you cast. To yes, I think this is how you actually cast for this time thingy. So we could do this as well. You could just write null. Do whatever you want. Uh, it should be fine. So let's see here. Let's just see if that crashes. Now we're good. We're good. Okay. Okay. So let's make a class here. Like I said, we won't be talking about classes in different files yet. We'll come to that later. Now, the reason to have them in different files is because classes can be really long. And if you define all your functions there and have a bunch of accessors and modifiers, it'll be a pretty big list. And uh, to go through here where your main is, if all your classes are where your main is in the same file, you'll have a big file full of stuff. So the general uh, idea is to make every class that you make in a separate file. So you have a file per class and you're making objects uh, in those files. And then you can use them um, to create actual objects in main. And uh, then you'll have to include them. But there we go. Okay, so we initialize that. So we'll call it dice. Like that. I did check up the grammar for this, since I've always had a problem for problem with that. Uh, dice can be singular and plural. It depends. And you can also say one die. One dice, one die. I don't know, man. I'm confused. So I'll just keep saying dice. That's fine. Then we'll have int max value, okay? Because we'll go from zero to a max value, and I think that's all the dice needs. Um, a one max value in private. Now you don't need the protected part. See, I'm ignoring it because the protected part, the computer won't even care about it unless you actually define it here, uh, so or specify it there. So don't mind. Just just ignore that. We won't be talking about that for a little while. Um, but anywho, let's go in here public. Let's uh, do our constructor. Let's say dice. And let's make a destructor dice. Now we don't want to make a dice with zero sides, right? Or zero max value. So we'll force the user to uh, enter something. Now the thing is, you need a, you must have a default constructor in every class. You must, okay? You must. So we'll default max value to six if the user doesn't input anything. This makes this makes it so that the constructor is both a default constructor and a optional constructor. See, because if you don't input anything, it'll be a default constructor, but it will still initiate it to 6. Initialize it to 6, sorry. Or if you do put something in, it'll be an optional constructor, and you will be able to customize that value. So this max value equals max value. Now remember the difference between this max value and this local max value here. This max value is the actual uh, member here. So we have that, we have that, and we don't need to do anything in destructor. Remember, we printed something in that in the last video, but you don't need to. You, I mean, it's just it takes care of itself. It destroys the whole dice object for you. And then we'll have a member function called. It'll return the value. Uh, throw. Whoops! No, don't use throw. Dice or toss. Let's call it toss. And there we go toss and how many times do you want to toss it we could have that as well okay we could have that as well times okay um, just like that we could do that if we wanted to so you can toss it several times and uh, let's say that it returns times time rand um, rand no, 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 equals zero. And we need a for loop, right? You need to throw it several times. So times 
and then we'll say result plus equals to rand uh, max whoops value plus one okay uh, there we go so it'll just add that add that add that and then it will return result there we go uh, perfect 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 so that's the dice class ladies and gentlemen that's all you need and you have a toss thing here so what you do in main then after that is you can create a dice d1 dice d2 and a dice d3 now all of these are using the default constructor okay but and there will be six max value six so one to six right but 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 if you want a dice that has a higher value you have to say that so I want a 14 d14 right and I want a d20 there we go and now we can see out d1 dot toss okay now we'll just toss all of these uh, and we'll say times equals one as a default value okay so if we don't want to give anything in here it will just toss it once that's good to know so we'll toss this this just like that and then let's see 5 10 16 6 1 9 so it seems to be working let's see if we're gonna max value okay 1 13 9 almost a max value and 2 5 10 one more time one more time this is fun oh oh this is fun Woo! 4 10 11 okay we're good <laughs> we're good yeah so uh, that's basically a very simple dice class uh, we made a dice we made sure it could be tossed we made sure it was initiated or initialized to a, a side so we didn't have a zero sided die, a zero value die and uh, yeah you can toss it several times so let's toss it toss everything five times let's see if that works so 17, 39, 49 seems to be working so that gave us a big different values here as well that's good to know so there you go that's a very simple program with the dies do not put zero in there Okay. So yeah, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.